Good day, grade 12s, and welcome to today's video, where I'm going to be working through the 2024 November PRAC paper. Now, I don't have a digital version of this, but I will put, um, by the time you see this, uh, a link with the exam paper in it. So, <clears throat> we have nine questions. As you can see, these are our data files. And um, I'm going to be looking at, in this video, I'm going to be looking at question number one. So let's open question one and let's look at our questions. So question number one says, open and work only in the folder named Q1. So I'm only in Q1. They say ensure that the view in the file explorer window is set to the small icons layout view. So our view, small icons layout view. Insert a screenshot of the view in the Q1 answers. So Q1, Q1 answers. And there we go. And they want this. And I'm just going to move it over to the side. They want us to take a screenshot of this. So I'm just going to use my snipping tool. Um, you can use whatever you have as well. I'm just going to take a screenshot of that. And paste that in. And just resize it so that it's there. Okay. So that's done. Let's continue. 1.2, it says, answer the following questions by inserting your answers in where? In the Q1 answers document and just don't forget to type your student number in here okay so let's continue 1.2.1 it says determine the author of the jpg file named animal shelter so animal shelter.jpg we see it over there so let me just close this animal shelter.jpg how do we see who the author is we're going to right click we're going to go to properties we're going to go to details and there we're going to see who the author is. So now we've got to take that and I'm just going to move this over 1.2.1 and I'm going to type in Lady Ulu. There we go. So that's done. Next one. Copy the file path of the database called animals.acc. DB and paste the file path in the Q1 answers. So animals, I'm going to right click. What am I going to do? I'm going to take the file path. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that in here. And there we go. Next one. Determine the date that the file contact details.xl is there, that one. Determine the date that it was created. Write the exact date or provide a screenshot in Q1 answers. So there, the date it was created. So again, I can use my snipping tool and I can just say, okay, well, let's do that. Created and I'm going to paste that in here and again I can just resize it done okay let's go uh, 1.2.3 determine the date no sorry 1.2.4 now uh, what is the file size of the file about us dot rtf there we go uh, detail size in bytes, um, what do they say? Type your answer or provide a screenshot. So again, again, you see how simple question one is, right? So there again, I'm just using the snipping tool. I'm going to pop in my screenshot, resize it. All right, let's turn over the page and you can see... This hasn't even taken me, this is like taking me all of five minutes so far. It's just because I'm doing this slowly. 
Now they say to me, create a folder called images in Q1. So, sorry, clicking too fast here. Images. And what do they want me to do? They want me to move all the image files into the images folder. So I'm going to just select all the image files. Now, obviously, when they say move, it means we are going to cut and paste. Okay, then they say, create a shortcut of the folder archive and rename the shortcut to backup. So new shortcut. I'm going to check the location. And that is what I want to create a shortcut to. And they want me to call it backup. Done. Next one, extract the folder contacts.zip. And I'm just going to say extract here. There's contacts. Save the file, the ranch presentation, as a video file. So how are we going to do that? We are going to open it. We are going to go File, Save As. I'm just going to click on More Options to make sure we're saving it in the correct place. And then the Save As Type. There I can save it as a video file. There's Windows Media Player. There's MPEG-4. I mean, whichever one. They're not saying um, which one in particular. And I'm just going to go Save. Close it. And there you can see as a video file. Then 1.8, protect the document, contacts, backup.doc. So we're going to open that. And they want us to protect this. So I can go file, info, protect the document. What do they want me to do? So that only users using the password. So they want me to encrypt this with a password. Q1P1. No quotation marks, can access it, make sure you use the correct password. So again, Q1P1, click OK, done. All right, so how do I test this when I open it? There we go, there's the password, Q1P1, click OK, and there my document is open. Okay, so I know that works. And then the last one, group the contents of the Q1 folder according to what so under view do you see group by right group according to name take a screenshot of the group contents only and insert the screenshot into q1 answers so again what are we using all snappy and we're taking a screenshot of this and into 1.9 i'm just going to paste that in as usual resize it and there we go save it and that is done and folks that has taken me all of nine and a half minutes exactly